glitter box. I've got something here that you don't ever want to turn down. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Soul. Yes, crew, and a very warm welcome back as we kick off a brand new radio show today. Once again, a two hour extended session. And the track in the background, I have been absolutely dying to play it for you guys on this show. Uh, but it, of course, received this exclusive first play at the festival on Friday, just gone. Uh, before we get into it, I'll say hello, welcome along. This is the Glitterbox Radio Show. My name is Melvo Baptiste, and we have so much in store for you today. Not only will I be speaking to the undisputed king of live streams, Bob Sinclair, I also caught up with Dr. Packer ahead of his album release. Also today, three brand new listeners on board and someone picked some Stevie Wonder. Perfect. But as I mentioned today, we're going to kick off with this one. Uh, brand spanking new music on the way on Glitterbox Recordings. Humongous shout to the shapeshifters. Humongous shout to the icon that is Billy Porter. Receiving its very first play on the radio, this is I'm Ready. Welcome along. Glitter box. on the Glitterbox Radio Show.
Yeah, super dope, super funky, uplifting music right here on the Glitterbox radio show. The original of this one, Mike Dunn, Natural High. And this one available now to pre-order on Tracksource, River Stars Mo Funk Mix. Before that, a little bit of Thelma Houston. Hope you enjoyed that. And before that one, a record that received its very first play, its world exclusive on the festival on Friday. The Shapeshifters, Billy Porter and I'm ready. Um, while we're talking about the festival, if you missed it, please head over to our YouTube channel. Uh, so many highlights, so many moments from Friday. Nightmares and Wax, the perfect opening set. Uh, Davey was dope. Uh, also DJ Coco, my gosh. If you haven't seen this guy DJ before, just go and check him out. He makes all of us look so, so bad. He is such an incredibly talented DJ. Um, but the one I want to play you next, um, I heard on Friday, and I forgot quite how good this remix was. Jamiroquai, Cosmic Girl, and Dimitri's edit.
So the last couple of records that I've shared with you today are particularly close to my heart. Some all-time favourites, track in the background, Loose Ends, Hanging on a String, and the Frankie Knuckles club mix of that. Before that one, the brand new heavies, and Stay This Way, perfection on our radios this afternoon. I'm sending a big shout today to Christian San, getting in touch, saying get to boxes, his favourite channel on SoundCloud. Hello to Burke and to your girlfriend Celine, getting in touch. New York City by way of Istanbul, and birthday shouts to you. Hello to Alex Franks and a humongous shout this week to Little Archie celebrating your 10th birthday tomorrow, I believe. A big hello this week to Peter McKenna, both senior and junior. Big love to you guys as always. And uh, the guys requesting a Stevie Wonder special on this show. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get around to that. Uh, Right, in a few moments time, we're going to go into conversation with Bob Sinclair, picking four records today and always the entertainer. But let's keep it in the UK for now. Here's Barry Sharp, Diana Brown and the master plan. Big shout to UK Don, Barry Sharp, uh, Diana Brown, uh, The Master Plan. Sounding perfect on our radios today. And uh, we've kind of reached that part of the radio show. This guy has been absolutely tearing up live streams over the last couple of months. And we had to get him on the show. Let's enter this week's House Of. You are entering the House Of... Bob Sinclair. 
Yeah, what an interesting place to enter. The house of Bob Sinclair. Uh, legend of our game for so many reasons. Um, superstar DJ for so many years now. Um, and he's managed to release so many records that have not only done well on the underground, but so many records that have also crossed over into the mainstream as well. Now, why I talk about him so much just recently is, uh, since lockdown began all across the world, um, Bob went into his studio and started delivering these live streams for us. And they were so, so entertaining, captured the imaginations of so, so many people. And the numbers of people he was hitting every single day was astronomical. Uh, so the first question I asked him was, when did he decide to commit to this daily show? I mean, I, wa I was dreaming to have my own radio show or my own TV show and talking about music. I mean, when I was younger, when I had 14, 15, on TV in France, you had a famous TV show who was talking about this uh, hip hop culture coming from New York. I mean, I was really excited by this music. I was really um, excited to do a, a radio show to influence the people by my music, you know. So when the president, uh, the 14th or 15th, 15th of March, announced that we, we are going to be locked down for a while, I was shocked because I don't used to do nothing. I don't want to get bored. It never happened in my life, so I, don't, I, was, uh, I was a bit afraid about this. So when I arrived in the studio, first of all, I wanted to manage all the vinyl here to arrange them, you know, by uh, alphabetic order, we can say that. But it was, uh, no, it was a dirty job, I couldn't do it. So I said, okay, let's plug two phones, one on Instagram and one on Facebook. Let's do live session. Let's see what ha what's going to happen. I want to play things I never used to play in club, you know. I want to, um, to tell them and to play them my history, my background of music. And let's see what's happened. And the first session has been shared like more than a million times on, on Facebook. So yeah, the beginning was like this. And we are forever grateful that he did exactly that. Um, right, I also asked Bob to speak about a handful of records that he released over the years. And uh, the very first record I asked him to speak about was this one, Bob Sinclair and My Only Love. It's in my first album, Paradise, that I, re uh, uh, I released uh, in 1998. And I was looking for a vocal because, you know, Stardust at that time was a revolution for us because it's the, this track showed us that it was possible in our bedroom to do a, a pop hit only with sample and just a friend singing uh, with, a, with a with a French accent. You know what I mean? It was it was something weird at that time because um, yeah, we discovered that everything was possible. It, it was made for the DJs, support by the DJs, and then crossover on the pop charts. So it was a dream. Now you're tuned in to the Glitterbox radio show. My name is Melvo Baptiste and just last week caught up with Bob Sinclair and uh, he spoke about a few different releases over the years and uh, the second record he selected and chosen to speak about is I Feel For You. 
the base of I Feel For You is a Seron sample. So uh, the name of the, the track I sample is Look For Love. I must admit that it's the first time I request, uh, I try to clear a sample. <laughs> it was in 1999. After the success of uh, Paradise, I just came back to work very quick. And um, it was actually very easy to talk to Seron. At that time, he was uh, living in Los Angeles. And I talked to his son first. And so he said, "Okay, I'm going to clear I feel for you. Come in my studio in Los Angeles. I'm going to invite my uh, backing vocals singers for you. And if you have the melody and the words ready, which was the case, you can choose the girl and let's do it. I feel for you was born, and it's the first time uh, that I mean that I met uh, then uh, Simon Dunmore, who um, came in Paris. I said I want this record for my label. I said, "Wow, it's amazing! I uh, love your label, and let's do collaboration." And he made the Defected Crew and him made my 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 song top 10 in UK, and it was the first time, so I was uh, delighted. Absolutely monster here. As I mentioned, uh, always had the ability to release underground records. Don't forget his Africanism label, uh, released so many records with DJ Gregory and Julian Jabra, uh, but could also cross mainstream as well. Track in the background, Bob Sinclair and I Feel For You. Uh, right, let's get one more in. Um, the next record Bob's going to tell us about is The Ghetto. Yeah, the ghetto. I was really into sample. I'm coming from the hip hop culture. So my only way to live my passion and to make some music was to buy a sampler and to try to imitate my icons. You know, first of all, I, I started with projects like Mighty Bop, Reminiscence Quartet. So it was acid jazz, Brazilian music, trip hop. And I tried to imitate uh, DJ Premier, uh, Pit Rock and all the my heroes, you know, my hip hop heroes uh, I had at that time. And step by step, I uh, pitched the sample, I tried to speed up the drums and I worked the same way to create my, my house music. My sampler was only uh, four, four, four mega of memory. So uh, I, I could only sample some very short loop 
and we could do some some interesting uh, and creative disco disco track with only a few loops so it was rough it was a uh, uh, instinct you know it was uh, very creative and very rough i loved it glitter box love is the message Okay, so we're now three records deep, uh, speaking to the legend, the Don, that is Bob Sinclair. And uh, we got one more record to go, and of course, of course, we were going to select this one. Uh, Here's Bob Sinclair telling us all about World Hold On. So the base of this music has been sent by a friend of mine, the harmonies by uh, Mike, Michael Torchman. He told me one day I have these harmonies, a little bit that funky, you know, and uh, I don't know what to do with it. It's too commercial for me. Maybe you can do something with it. I said, okay, I can produce it. So I add this uh, organ uh, M1 bass line on it. I add the whistle and I sent the instrumental to Steve Edwards. Axwell actually sent me the number of Steve Edwards. So I said, wow, after Love Generation and this Jamaican accent, Jamaican feeling, could be nice to have that kind of vocal very very light very clear yeah. so i sent him three track actually and i invite he said i'm ready so i invite him in my studio in paris and he recall we, we cut the vocal here in my studio in paris and to be honest i didn't feel the potential at the beginning when we recorded i thought he was very underground because the, he was not very happy but everybody everybody's playing the song or take the a cappella playing the a cappella doing mashup remixes so i think it's it will be my um my ultimate classic at the end. Open up your heart, what do you feel? Open up your heart, what do you feel? Is it real? Yeah. The Big Bang may be a million years away oh. But I can't think of a better time
And there you have it, guys. Enjoyed that so much today, catching up with the Dom, the legend, the icon that is Bob Sinclair. Um, thank you for the music. Thank you for the words today. And wouldn't it be great if we had him at a Glitterbox event next year? Wow. Uh, okay, we're going to get ourselves into a little mix. Coming up in a few minutes' time, new music from Boys Noise. Also got some shout-outs to go through. I'm also speaking to Dr. Packer today. Uh, but right now, let's play you this one. Blaze, Do You Remember House? and the Bob Sinclair mix. I remember house when house was emotion. I remember house when it was a spiritual thing. I remember house when it was just one house. House was about love. House was about house was about love. House was about house was about love. House was about love. I remember house. I'm 
as always, mixing things up right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show, uh, leaning on absolute gems just like this one, Black Magic Freedom. And just before this, playing you some music forthcoming on Defected Records. You can now pre order it on Track Source, Boys Noise, and Mainline. Before that one, you heard Zed Factor get into the music, Joey Chicago mix of that. And uh, before we get into the next one, I'm sending a big shout this week to William Norton. William, thank you for your email in the week and for the kind words. Hello to Daniel Owen, asking me to shout out the Dubai Lock, Stock and Barrel crew. A big shout this week to Anastasiak, showing us some love on YouTube. And a big hello this week to Frank Rambo, working late alone and the Glitterbox Radio Show, keeping him company. Uh, okay, in a few minutes time, we're going to be speaking to Dr. Packer ahead of his album release on Glitterbox Recordings. Uh, but let's take a little breather. Uh, let's play you a couple of tracks. Here's the Opalopo tweak of Metropolis and go get it.
a disco what you like uh, disco Balearic Italo this is just the essence of rhythm Tunila De Poschipo right here on the Glitterbox radio show um, Primavera I've wanted to play this on the show for so so long and somehow I only managed to play it now before this one Metropolis and go get it right still to come today uh, we have our listener choices and one of our listeners picked some Stevie Wonder which I was happy about of course celebrated his birthday 
just last week. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to get Dr. Packer on the phone. He does have an album coming on Glitterbox Recordings and there's some amazing mixes on there. Um, he's picked a couple of tracks to talk about today and the very first one, Roberto Sirace and Joys. So um, when Simon and the boys was over for the uh, Glitterbox tour last November, the Australian Glitterbox tour, I gave him a copy of uh, my remix of SOS band The Finest and I, the reason I did that was because the vocals were very relevant at the time uh, with the Roberto Sirachi tune doing so well and uh, at the back of my mind I was sort of hoping that he might come back to me and say hey you know let's let's look at doing a release on this but he sort of left me hanging for about a month and um, I sort of thought it was dead in the water and then, and then one day I got an email from Seamus saying hey Greg how about if we give you the Roberto Sirachi Joy's vocal and you replace it with the SOS band uh, with, with, with the, the resung vocal? And uh, I was kind of like, oh, well, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, uh, to say the least, I was chuffed that, that, that I was able to do that and, and give it an official release. Glitter box. It's great to hear the story behind how these records kind of come together. Uh, the original Roberto Sirace, Joys, and this, the Dr. Packer remix. Uh, if you guys want to get hold of the vinyl on this one, please head over to the Defected store and grab your copy right now. 
And for the download crew, head over to Track Source and uh, you can support it right there. Uh, right, one more to come from Dr. Packer. This is remix of Horse Meat Disco and Let's Go Dancing. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, obviously, I was honoured to to be asked to do the the Horse Meat Disco. Let's Go Dancing. It was probably one of my favourite uh, modern day disco tunes that that, that that was around on the Glitterbox label. And the, the original mix was great. The Dimitri mix was great. And when I got asked to do that. I was really, really puzzled on on how what direction I was going to take this in. I'm thinking I really just need to go completely different direction to to, to what the, the, the previous two mixes were. So I sort of went with a bit of a Giorgio Moroder kind of arpeggiated bass type like groove and sped it up just a little bit. Just 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 gave it a little tweak, give it a bit more energy and. Um, and it's been a real standout in, in a lot of my sets over the last 12 months. And, and from, from all reports, the, the, the guys are really feeling it as well, which is, which is always a good bonus. Let's go dancing right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. Big shout out Dr. Packer. Thank you for joining us today, mate. And uh, don't forget, if you want to grab the vinyl on this one, head over to the Defected Store ASAP. Okay, let's step into the next part of today's radio show. Glitterbox. 
Yeah, as you guys know, each and every single week, I ask you guys to get in contact with me and uh, let me know what track you would love to hear on the radio show. And every single week, the bar is being raised. You guys are smashing it. Um, but we're going to kick things off today with Ros Pedersen selecting Stevie Wonder and Do I Do. Um, so my track that I'd like to request is Stevie Wonder's um, Do I Do. I'm an absolutely huge Stevie Wonder fan. It started when I was very small, back in 1970s, and my dad was a huge fan and he used to play all the time when we were in the car. Um, yeah, he was also a bit of a jazz fan as well, but, you know, it was Stevie Wonder that really, really stuck with me. I think um, this, do I do, just to, when it comes on in a club or when I'm out, um, it's just one of those tracks that just makes you get up and dance. You cannot sit still to it. And like I say, you know, great memories, great memories from, you know, early 80s onwards to dancing to this track. Thank you for selecting that one today and lifting all of our spirits. Um, of course, it was Stevie Wonder's birthday just last week. There were some amazing tributes to him online. If you did miss it, I'm sure you can go and find them. Right, second up today, let's welcome Sally Helston from Bolton, selecting Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes and The Love I Lost. One of my favourite tracks is The Love I Lost by Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. It's such a wonderful disco track. It stops me in my tracks every time I hear it, and I just have to sing along and have a big dance. Thanks very much, Melvo.
right now you're listening to the Glitterbox radio show. My name is Melvo Baptiste and we've just heard selections from a couple of our listeners. Big shout to uh, Roz and also a big shout to Sally today as well. But our third and final choice today uh, coming from Lima, Ohio. Uh, this is Dino selecting Evelyn Champagne King and Shame. Hi, Melvo. This is Dino Gerdeman from Lima, Ohio. Honored to be on the show. I've been a longtime listener. The track I've selected today is Shame. The 1977 disco perfection version by Evelyn Champagne King. This track is smooth, it's sophisticated, it's soulful, it has great instrumentation, and just an overall fantastic record. To quote Defected Records boss Simon Denmore, it stands the test of time. And I'm thrilled that today you're playing Shame on the Glitterbox Radio Show. Humongous shout this week to all of our listeners and uh, last year, big shout to Dino as well. I enjoyed the introduction a lot. Uh, Evelyn Champagne King and shame. Okay, so we've got a few more bits to play you guys today and uh, the one I want to play you next is finally out. You can go and support it. I was playing this one week in, week out. Uh, When I was in clubs, that was. Anyway, uh, big shout to Medina for your edit on a James Brown classic. This is The Rattlesnake and The Ant.
You are listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show. Tomorrow, so you gotta read what you sow. 
Glitterbox. Yep, some more feel good music right here on the Glitterbox radio show. Track in the background, Chic, Everybody Dance. Before that one, you heard TJM and I Don't Need No Music. And before that one, uh, a new edit of Teddy and You Can't Hide From Yourself. Uh, okay, we've got a couple of more bits to play you guys today. Uh, I wanted to play this one for you next because Late Night Tough Guy played it at the festival on Friday. It sounded so, so good. Uh, so here you go. It just Muhammad could heaven ever be like this and the Late Night Tough Guy edit. There you go guys this one rounding up what's been a really enjoyable two hours for me anyway big shout out to all of you guys who tuned in and supported today big shout out to bob sinclair big shout out to dr packer and a big shout out to all of our listeners who got involved as well i'm of course back for more of the same next week uh, but as always time to leave you on one more record thought we'd share a little more stevie with you today uh, and one of my favorite stevie records of all time this stevie wonder if you really love me i'll see you guys next week
You call my name, ooh, so sweet To make your kiss incomplete When your mood is clear You quickly change your ways Then you say I'm untrue What am I supposed to do? Be a fool who sits alone waiting for you.